Well, I'm on a fax to Mars, and I'm not going to let this one go. Why baby it's cold outside should be retired. So here we have a commie liberal who wants to ban this old song. Well, I just found out today what this song is from. I never really gave it any thought, never looked it up. I'm going to show you what it's from. This is from a uh, movie, a romantic comedy from 1949 called Neptune's Daughter. Notice the uh, title. That's what it's from. And really what it is about is simply romance. See, the left can't stand the idea of romance. Um, normally, what the guy, what happens is the guy chases a girl until she catches him. That's human nature. That's just the way it is. But these nutcases on the left, uh, like the one I showed you, they can't stand that idea. You can't have men chasing women. This is why we have so many people, guys, uh, buying these stupid sex robots or whatever. I wouldn't go anywhere near one of them things, but uh, a lot of them do because they're afraid. You know, you go ask a woman out, you wind up having a set of handcuffs, handcuffs set on you, slapped on you. And that, I think that's a valid concern because there is, they're talking this is sexual harassment in this song, which it isn't. It's just about romance, or at least what used to be romance. Now, here we have this commie liberal saying if you dig a little bit deeper, it becomes clear the male carrier character was always intended to be a predator. Hogwash. There aren't any predators in that movie. I've never watched it, but I know he's not a rapist. This is just a flat-out lie by this idiot. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Now, here, the well, Huffington Post has a couple of idiots, neither of whom could carry a tune in a bucket any more than I could. And they're singing this song, if you can call it singing. But look at what they put up. Festive tradition or date rape anthem. It's not about date rape. Why don't you idiots at the Huffington Post, why don't you go watch the movie? Find it on DVD or something. It's about romance. It's not my genre. I would rarely ever touch such a movie. It's about romance. It's not about date rape. For crying out loud. What the hell's the matter with you people? You're sick in the head. Uh, here this idiot says it's wolf and mouse. Excuse me, wolves wouldn't bother with mice. It's called cat and mouse. Hunter and haunted, hunted stalker and victim. The characters in this movie aren't stalkers. Not the men, not the women. Because there is one scene where it's a woman who's doing chasing. They're not stalkers. This is called romance. Can't you understand that? Are you too stupid to understand this? Romance is something that's peculiar to us humans. Animals don't do it. They just uh, go and get started, shall I say. Like most recently with jo Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Lady Gaga. Uh, Lady Gaga being romantic. Come on. But what's even worse is, you look right down below there, they're saying Michael Bubel and being Miss Piggy. Excuse me? Are you, uh, people at Huffington Post promoting animal sex? What in the hell is wrong with you? Notice the uh, number of thumbs down. 2.5k and only 113 thumbs up. Gee, wonder why that is. But let's face it, not even Mother Monster or Muppet can make this any better. 
unbelievable. This is a real nutcase here. Say, what's in this drink? Well, that's a legitimate question to ask. It doesn't mean that there's any date rape drug in there. The fact that I don't even know if they had Mickey Finns or whatever back then. I would have to look that up. But come on. There's no, there's no way to know. You know, maybe she's asking if there's whiskey or is it vodka or whatever. I'm, non, I'm a non-drinker, so I don't know that much about uh, alcohol. Non-drinker. Now look at this idiot. What's in this drink? Could the seasonal scumbag date rape alarm be screaming any louder right now? She's a nutcase. Complete and utter nutcase. But this is what our colleges are putting out. And our schools. They're putting out nutcases like this that don't understand basic human uh, interaction. Well, it's supposed to be. This feels less romantic date and more nightmare starring Bill Cosby. You wouldn't know what a romantic date is. Unbelievable. Like I said, uh, these two that are singing this, this is not from Neptune's Daughter. Neither one of them could carry a tune in a bucket. Not that I could either, but... They're just horrible to listen to. Perhaps intentionally so. Even though she says no three times, the guy still advances. That's been going on uh, since the beginning of time. And comedy liberals like this moron are trying to outlaw it. It's called romance. Romance. He chases her and chases her until she catches him. Duh! That's called romance. That's the way it's always been. How do you expect a human to... human race to procreate itself when you're like this? And when she doesn't consent, it's all about his hurt feelings. Well, it would hurt his feelings. It's probably the only smart thing she said in the entire video. Look, this isn't any part of the war on Christmas. You can keep Charlie Brown, keep Eggnog, keep Santa Claus. No, she doesn't mention Jesus Christ. But in any event, she's lying. Because they're uh, telling us, don't say Merry Christmas, don't have Christmas parties, etc. Although, you could make the case that since the song isn't specifically about Christmas, then maybe it isn't part of the war on Christmas. But they're still not, don't want us to keep our traditions alive. Religious traditions. I'm an agnostic, folks. Keep that in mind. Here this idiot contradicts herself. You can even keep those ugly-ass knit sweaters are kind of cute. Which are they? Ugly or cute? Unbelievable. But maybe it's cold outside and there's one Christmas tradition we should leave exactly where it belongs, in the past. Go to hell. That's what I say. One more? What, are we supposed to care about this guy's toxic, wounded masculinity? Unbelievable. You know... Uh, I'm going to address Huffington Post. Where did you drag this person out? Did you drag her out of an insane asylum? Because that's where she belongs. If you did drag her out of an insane asylum, I suggest you take her back to where she belongs. If you didn't, then I suggest you take her to one. Unbelievable. This is supposed to be, a song is just a song, but it's about romance. It's about the girl being chased by the guy, or in the other scene, the guy being chased by the girl. And it's about how men chase women until the woman catches them. 
man will chase a woman until a woman catches him. That's the way it's been throughout history. And I'll quote my story That's the way a species ended. is set up. I think it is time I should so, quit. you people on Huffington Post, I would suggest to you, offended, try to get some people some common sense barrel, to do your videos. And quit Be going to the mental health asylums uh, for your looking. speakers. Oh, and, uh... Find some people who can actually sing. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message. Thanks for watching.